your patience during that brief one. Uh, we're going to hop into some puzzles right now. And hopefully my capture isn't borked. It probably will be. And then we'll fix it. Like we always do. All right, puzzles, you know, not bad. Not bad at all. Adequate. Let me get some FTL tunage going here. Zoltan battle theme. All right. All right. Swapping the title and we're off. As far as suggestion goes, I'll be talking through my thought process while doing the puzzles. Uh, I certainly have uh, a little bit of experience playing chess, to say the least, but I am certainly no expert, so I'm just talking to my thought process. If you want to contribute to that, if you can point out um, ideas on the board or why you like specific moves, that's very helpful. Uh, I only ask that you don't actively try to refute my thought process or what I'm saying, because I'm literally just talking through what I'm thinking. It's not trying to be factual. It's just trying to be a stream of consciousness. But feel free to discuss the board state on that note. All right, find the best move for white. Here we are. So what we see on this board is we are down a major piece, but we do have a pass pawn here who has his movement obstructed. So if black wanted to block my pawn from promoting, his only choice now is the A5 square. Okay. Does this make b6 look good? Let's just say we go b6, take, take, uh, bishop here, uh, push, bishop goes here, blocking this. Now, that's not so good um, because that's just a draw. Then after all that breaks down, we take this pawn and that's that. Maybe this pawn is the, the ticket to it, though. Let me just walk through this real quick. I don't think this is correct. I just want to see it. Takes, takes. Um, bishop here. Push, bishop here. Okay, we can't take there. Well, it's definitely not b6. On the same note, if I go here, uh, he goes here. Okay. Then after taking this pawn, we have no way to dislodge the bishop from this square so that it also becomes a draw now this works all right this is 11 and a half hours of streaming brain here we go we're gonna push here uh he's gonna block here i'm gonna take the pawn let's just say he makes a dummy move here uh, I'm going to slide into this square. We're going to get here. We're going to try to do a, for a pass of this one where he has to sack the bishop to stop it. And then we can pick up this pawn and finally promote to queen. Here we go. It's not even the right move. I want to see this on Stockfish. Takes. Oh, of course. I push instead of takes. I had it in my head the whole time. I'd be recapturing. <laughs> there you go. We were almost there. Yeah, the 2000 um, puzzles are really tough because you got to get three or four moves ahead. And uh, often you'll be presented with something that looks very desirable, but it's a good move, not the best move. Those are the toughies. 
One sec, the hoodie's coming off. Alrighty, uh, I am currently playing on leechess.org, uh, command right here, maybe? There we go. A open source, uh, free website to play and learn chess with a ton of resources and a massive player base. The best chess website on the internet, in my opinion. It is excellent. Their puzzle system has been vastly improved in the past year, too. It is pretty awesome. Uh, let me just show this off real quick. You got the puzzle themes here. You can choose puzzles from any of these themes. And you can see many of them are uh, many thousands deep, 600,000 advantage puzzles, um, as they are all pulled via algorithm um, from games that happen on Lee Chess. Uh, and then uh, through a voting system and a little trial and error, they've improved the algorithm. Um, these The puzzles are pretty spot on. So in order for a puzzle to be generated, uh, either a positional advantage, usually by of a certain point, needs to be achieved, or um, in the early puzzles, anything before 2000, basically, uh, a lot of the puzzles are either checkmate or material advantage, and we start getting 2200, 2300 on puzzles. Um, so a lot of times, positional things become a lot more important. Grayson, thanks for 19 months, dude. Real Neckbeard, thanks for 28 as well. Okay, back to this puzzle. We have a couple moves here. Uh, this is a check, and this is a check. I'm thinking knight e5 looks better, because uh, there's less escaping squares. So if we go knight e5 check, this is blocked off. Uh, he can go here and here only. And then we go checkmate. This really just mate in two. Is it a mirage? It's not a mirage. It's mate in two. Okay. Thanks for the freebie. Well, kind of freebie. That's a 2200 freebie. All right. Best move for white. Why am I not taking the queen outright? What's the what's the threat here? I mean, check takes takes takes. We're still up a rook. Why am I not taking the queen? Why why not? He just took my rook here. I feel like this might be a weird puzzle. Like it's deceptively straightforward. Does he have a better response after rook takes e4? Um, this? Okay, this looks a little more threatening, right? Because then he's saying that he's overloading on the d1 square, which is the checkmate square right now. So my options would be to move the queen out of the way or bring the rook back to e1. And uh, this shuffle looks like it fixes it. I'm going for it. Yeah, okay. That's not the move. Why is that not the move? Oh, okay. You know what? I saw it and then I lost it. And then I lost the puzzle because of it. So then we go King C2, which is uh, double threatening here. And... Which direction do we attack the knight from? Here, I think? No. Almost had that. Alright, best move for black. Well, we're kind of down material, but... We got these two pawns locked down good. Good. 
Well, the option begins push or take. That's, uh, I think, the two main moves here. Just take looks nicer. All right, so let's say I take this pawn. What's he going to do? Uh, he's going to push. And then I'm going to push. And he's going to push. And I'm going to say, nope. Got that. Okay. Okay. Oh, King G4 wasn't even on my radar. Where's the idea here? I guess that makes sense. We eliminate this pawn altogether because he can't really uh, help himself to any of this. We got it all covered with the bishop. Okay. I agree. All right, I think I see this one. I believe the move is e4, and then he goes here, we push. And if he backs off, we get this pawn, and if he takes, we still get the pawn at the end. Mm, might be here. Oh, I gotta say, King F4 is looking really tempting. I was debating taking, but let's walk through it. Takes, takes, up here, uh, here. Hmm. I think the plan should be this. <laughs> okay. More steps on this puzzle. Can I just can I just get my points, please? All right. If we go here now, he's gonna go here. Uh, then it gets weird. So not that uh, here. Uh, he goes here. And I guess we do one of these. Huh. Maybe it's just push and then take. That'd be pretty awkward. If I go here, he goes here. And then I don't have a way to get around without sacrificing a pawn and then exchanging here. And then it's these two pawns. So it really has to be this. And then after he goes here to block the promotion, then we take. And then we have a retreat to go back to, and he's too far away to block me. Okay. Whew. Wipe the brow after that one. That was deep. Best move for white. The first thing I see here is if this rook moves away, we are in surprise check big time. Oh, no. How bad is the surprise check? It's not pleasant. Let's say that uh, here and pick up my queen would be the natural move. Uh, 
Like checking here and moving over would be temporarily safe. But I don't think the goal of the puzzle is to be temporarily safe. A most interesting situation. Could like move up here or even move back. But I feel like if I move back and put myself into a pin, I work myself into a pin, then um, there's going to be a lot of pressure in coming on this piece. Let's not do that. So I don't think this or this uh, is it. A weird one, man. What about starting with this check? Going here and then here. I don't know. I'm really bungled on this puzzle because I just don't see a way forward for white. There obviously has to be one. We got imminent danger of this right now. So how do I turn this into an advantage? Black's next move is either a checkmate threat or just picking up my queen with surprise check. Okay, okay, hold up. Here's an idea. Check here. It was here. No, this is falling apart already. I wanted to get back to this square with the queen, but it's not happening. This threatens checkmate, but uh, it's easily stopped. This gets the queen out of trouble, takes a pawn, and basically says we have to trade here. Or we're going to trade. Only way... Yeah, there's no way we don't trade queens after queen takes c6. I think that might be it. How do I not die after that? No, it's, it's like all bad. Yeah, this has to be it. And that way, if he moves away... If he takes the knight, then we can take the queen. If he goes here, which I think is his move... We're still threatening the rook. We can get out of the way. We've covered the squares to recheck. Queen takes c6 is looking very likely. It's not... Yeah, I wasn't getting that one. What, King F2. Alright, let's follow this down the road. King F2. Alright. You win that one, puzzle. It was a good defensive move that I didn't understand.
Oh, okay, Flez, you're right. Let's go back to this. That's the idea I miss. It's not even a defensive move. Uh, King F2 threatens Rook G1 checkmate. That's why this was the follow-up. Just got too locked in on this idea. Thank you for verbalizing that. I get it now. That's the kind of uh, board talk I really appreciate. So help me learn something. Thanks for sharing. All right, best move for white. What is happening here? Um, we got tension right now. Kind of liking the move uh, knight takes g7. It really empowers this bishop to get activated. A lot of a lot of pressure coming in on this king. Is there a reason to take on g6 first? I don't think so. Okay, let's just look at this a little bit longer. Um, takes, if he takes, then we have this. It's not the best trade in the world, but it is uh, good. You can just pick up this pawn right now. Let's threaten the bishop, and where does the bishop have to go that it enjoys? Um, not many places. Actually, it's the bishop and the pawn. Queen takes c6 looks pretty awesome. So if I take here and he says, okay, I'll take here. Oh no, if I take there, I'm dropping my rook. This piece is anchored right now, restricted even in movement. Okay. Bolt Vanderhuge, thanks for 83 months, man. Thank you. Is there a way at the end of exchanging I have a valid checkmate threat? No, not quite. I'm really leaning towards this move. Uh, I like it. I need to see it all the way, though, or try to. Hey, Winnigan's 101. Thanks for 49 months. Appreciate that. Oh, well said, Dalek Con. Oh. I want to attack this king so bad right now. Here it is. We are going to take on g7. I'm sorry, we're going to take on uh, d7 first, takes, 
takes, takes, and if he retakes with the queen, uh, we have now pinned his queen to his king. This tension needs to disappear to free up our, our queen to defend and get us out of a uh, return check. Got him. Whew. A real brain buster there. All right, I'm going to spend just a few minutes now on making some moves in my correspondence games. Um, if you would like to play a five-day correspondence game, five days per move maximum. You can always drop a line in the Discord. Be happy to uh, send a challenge. There's 20 to 30 games going uh, any given time. So we got some moves to make. Okay, um... Bear? I think just this, and then we're planning on this kind of idea. So on this this board state, I don't know exactly what's going on. I just know that this bishop is um, not placed in such a manner that you'd like it because this bishop can't get out. Now, he can go back here and then push this and bring the bishop back, and it's okay. But uh, it would definitely benefit me right now to keep this pawn in place. So we can go like C6 and reinforce our center against the diagonal. Um, this pawn as well because it's blocking the knight. But I think E6 is what I'm going to do here. Uh, especially since I already have the escape square for the bishop. Alright, what is going on here? What is What is this one? Okay, it's got spicy. Got it. Um, I'm just going to take here. I don't want to take with the knight, because then he's going to go e5, then I have to move my knight, and then he's going to take my queen. I'm going to lose my castling privilege. Will almost certainly result in a trade of queens, um, and then I'm going to get this pawn soon. All right, let's just play a6 here. I think moving my knight out first was correct, but here we are. Don't usually play that opening, just giving it a whirl. Something to try. All right, both knight f3 and bishop d3 look pretty cool right now. Um, I, I'm liking bishop d3. Okay, he just went here. I thought for sure he was going to go here and lock my bishop in. But he didn't. The benefit to bishop d3 right now is it hits this pawn. So we kind of hit it with tempo. But I, I do like the idea of this too. Seems almost imminent we get a good pin going on there. But he escapes that pretty easily by moving this way. Let's go bishop d3. What? He moved the king to get out of the pin, okay? Oh, I'm not going to complain about that. I just, Okay. I certainly made a similar move, just unexpected. Right now, I'm wishing I could kick this bishop and take this fork, but it's just not where we're at.
definitely not against the idea right now of removing both knights, doubling his pawns, and then doing, like, uh, this. A nice cozy spot here where we'll probably have to trade his white-colored bishop. What happened earlier in this game? Oh, he already gave up castling privilege. Okay, it makes a lot more sense now. I get it. I think I might just go F3. Because right now, with this move, he's saying that this knight is now free to attack this, which is true. He, however, can't move this knight, which is the main way he can get his bishop out. This also makes his bishop pretty bad. Let's go ahead and play f3 here. I'm not in any rush to exchange. Even this idea looks pretty desirable. Okay, what have I done here? Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Pushed. This is just like a very interesting situation. I'm going to take here... I definitely prefer to isolate this pawn if I'm going to. The problem with allowing this... Yeah, it doesn't get too bad. I was thinking this is a lot more threatening, but with this here... The situation looks messy. I do also have the option of taking, allowing him to take here and then taking here maybe that looks better uh, i get ahead of pawn that way that looks okay bishop takes it looks nicer than having a pawn in the seventh rank Could play an intermediary move um, by checking here. He does not have a blocker, so he has to move his king. Uh, that's looking pretty good. I just said this guy was safety, but he can come back to our aid as well. Oh, wait, he's got this. Okay. Um... As another option, um, I have this move. That's looking pretty good right now. I like knight c4 here. Then I can retake. Looks a little better. Yeah, if this knight moves, he actually gains um, a pretty important line here. So we don't want to check right now. Verbalize that. Okay, let me look at this again. I take here. Um, he's going to take here. Okay, this definitely goes to start here. Okay, I'm just going to do this now. It's a very uh, weird board overall. I like it. Okay. 
Probably shouldn't open this file for his attackers. But I want to. Hmm. My queen's in a kind of a weird place. I think I might, like, try to shuffle these knights and get out that way. I also just play a very simple bishop e7 here, connecting my rooks. That might not be a bad idea at all. Queen b4 looks okay, because we're hitting the bishop with tempo. Um, he's got some good defensive moves. But after this move, I can offer the bishop trade and simplify down the board. Let me take a look at this. I am a little bit worried about the counterplay here, but I do have uh, ways to weasel out if he does attack. Um, maybe this doesn't look so bad. I can still back into this diagonal, too. You know what? I'm going to take this pawn. I'm going to be a greedy queen. Oh, yes, this one. Surprised he didn't go here. This is looking dangerous. I just took his last pass pawn over here, so it's really a matter of can I pull this into kind of a drawn position. I think I'm supposed to go... here, here, and over. Can also go up and over, which is less useful. I think I'm going to play um, c8, rook c8, because if he does make the move h5, a check here, that doesn't even work. Yeah, no way. All right, I'm going to try that. Very uh, tough position. I believe I'm lost there, but, you know. Okay. Why do I not want to play knight takes c5? Let's kind of dilapidate the pawn situation at the end, though trading down the board right now is a very valuable tool. Kinda has to be. Taking with the pawn gives up the pawn. So after I take here, uh, he takes, I take, he takes, I take here. I do have this, but it's not a very good defense there. 
What he's threatening immediately right now is to make this move, putting uh, pressure on this file. It's tough. I'll say the same thing I said before. Thank you all for your contributions to this discussion. Um, when I'm talking, I'm simply talking through my thought process. It's definitely not trying to be factual or even correct. So if you can point out something on the board, an idea, or explain why you like a move that is much more helpful than correcting the things I am saying. Winnigans 101, thanks for 49 months. And Strobe Machine, thanks for five biggins, dude. Appreciate that. I still think night takes looks best. I mean, we go up a pawn, another pawn at the end of it. We're still up a major piece uh, for a rook. Uh, in this case, Mr. Contra, if we take and he takes the bishop, we're going to take his rook. Say, so there's only the one way the sequence goes down. Pawn takes also works. Good thought. Okay, what is, what's the downside here? Is there one? That looks like a pretty clean uh, beast. And I will gladly trade queens after that if he takes with that. Oh yeah, we're two moves from checkmate here. Here's one. It's the first move. Well... Part of me, for curiosity, just wants to push here and lock it out. I know it's not right. I just... <laughs> I want to know what that feels like. I think bishop d6 is the move I'm going to do. Uh, maybe intentions of castling here or just moving up. But uh, threatening to make this move. So I can take and then retake and uh, keep my established center of pawns. Also, do something a little more aggressive like this. That's uh, a little scary. His uh, queen could end up very um, <laughs> heavy back here. Now, the more I look at this position, the more I'm liking uh, b5. For some reason, this pawn fell, though, and he got a nice juicy outpost for his knight on c5. I'd be um, unhappy. Also, have some dreams of doing something like this. 
what does this move say he's gonna do? Go here? Okay. I don't really feel the need to retort to that. Could go here, but I don't think so. I think I can keep a pawn on f6 for right now. I'm doing a lot of work against this knight. Maybe that's a good reason to go h5. Let him push. He can take if he wants, but... That if he takes the pawn, I get the rook in. That just emboldens this idea. How many games do I have right now? Seven? <laughs> I'm not making seven more moves right now. It's not happening. Well, all right, everybody. Really fun all-day Sunday stream today. Uh, thank you all for being here. Appreciate it very much. Uh, I'll be back and at it on Tuesday around 12 p.m. Pacific. Maybe a little stream tomorrow. I don't know. Our next scheduled broadcast is Tuesday at 12, though. Uh, thanks for the great 12 hours. Had an awesome time playing balloons and winding down with some chess. Uh, thank you all for the great time. Wonderful conversation and awesome company. We'll be back and at it soon. Uh, as a reminder, you're going to run three minutes worth of ads on the way out. The only ads I play for my entire broadcast with those play. Thank you so much. If you do not, thanks again for the time you chose to spend here. We'll catch you on the flip side. Take her easy.